Hello everyone, this is Metal Dragon, and I'm going to attempt to show you an easier way to remove the... Um, this is a 4L60E transmission, and the filter came out, and I've never changed one of these before, and I guess it has a steel insert for the uh, seal, and it's a real pain in the ass to get off. Um, so if you've ever tried to get one off and you've had a lot of trouble with it, like I have, because it's been 150 or 100,000 miles on this transmission, so things get a little stuck. Anyhow, I'm going to show you this little thing I made and how I actually got mine out, because I was having a lot of problems. And hopefully this will help somebody else. So here we go, I'm going to lay it down, hopefully you'll be able to see everything. Alright, let's see. Alright. Give me a sec, let me grab my tools. Okay, here we go. Alright, what I've done here is I'd say this is about a half inch bolt. All threads, as you can see, a lock or a wing nut. And basically, it just it helps it so um, you can spin it up after you get it so far off. Um, what you do is you put this part inside and you put it right above the filter neck where the metal is and the edges will actually grab the um, the edge of the filter um, and of course you have this here your, I'll give it a 14 inch 14 millimeter wrench um, you just slide it over it like so or you can put it on before the wing nut if you have a different size bolt or whatever um, and I also used a screwdriver so that way I can make sure that it goes flush on uh, some backwards. I want to have it this way. Makes it easier. And then you can feel where it hits. And you kind of press it against with this so that way it doesn't pop off. And if you can actually do it. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, and then. Of course, I've already got started getting mine out, but this is how I did it. Basically, you get the wing nut on far enough so you have tension on your uh, wrench right here, and then you smack it. So it's kind of almost like an impact hammer, but you're not. There's no hammering action. You're just kind of levering it. Yeah, the nut wing nut's kind of a pain in the ass. You can use a regular nut too. Um, preferably not self-locking. So you get it like that and then you just kind of hit it. And that should hopefully loosen it up. Um, and just keep spinning your wing nut or regular nut, whatever you're using. And uh, hopefully you'll find out like I did that it works. God, it's almost out. God, working on it for so long. As you can see, I've also uh, pulled the valve body off too. I was installing a shift kit, and I found out that um, they already had a Transgo shift kit in it. And well, yeah, I don't know how it's going to react because I got a Superior transmission shift kit that I put in it. So some of the holes were like they didn't need to be drilled, which I'm glad because my drill wouldn't clamp down on the smaller drill bits. So that was kind of freaky. Um, and yeah, so I just finished doing that. I accidentally... I was reading... I was trying to read the uh, instructions for pulling the... Um, or I'm sorry, drilling the, the valve for the pressure regulator and the picture wasn't very good and it was kind of small and I think I ended up um, drilling I drilled the wrong hole anyway I drilled the right hole afterwards because I found it but I don't know what's going to happen I'm going to have to email the company and see what they say about it uh, and I also broke one of the o-rings so I'm kind of SOL at the moment Let's see um, I replaced most of the springs every spring except for the one in the, um, the servo or whatever on the side, so and I think I'll just get to that later if I need to. I'm not really worried about it right now. I'm worried about enough of the other crap. And there it is. 
Wow. Thanks, Jim. There's one thing that sucks about it. I wonder if you could actually reuse the one that was in there rather than trying to get it out. I really destroyed this one. Um, yeah. And I also put this shift kit in because of the torque converter override or torque converter clutch lockup problem it has, and mine has the issue. It's a 98 Firebird, and your torque converter lockup valve is right in here. I don't know if you can see it from the camera angle. I can't see how the camera's looking, but anyway, you I got the kit that not only replaces that, but the other ones because it was basically the same price. But I think now I'm wishing I.